every win's a good win. That was that was a good win up against a great pitcher. Um, we're up and down the lineup. Uh, we had contributions and big at bats and big spots. And uh, um, you know, on a night when Sevy didn't have his best. Um, the rest of the guys were able to really come through in a big way. And it seemed like it turned in that third inning on the Gardner home run after Kluber had looked sharp the first two. He always feels like a tide turner, like he just has those big hits. Does it feel that way to you also? It did, because even, even at that point, it kind of seemed like <clears throat> they, were, they were beating us up pretty good because they had you know, they'd squared up Seve quite a few times, had a number of hits against them. Um, you know, we had a big caught stealing to kind of limit limit the damage one inning, um, and then all of a sudden one swing and we're tied. We're, it's it's a game again, and uh, I think that that got the boys definitely going a little bit, and they continued to um, have quality at bats, put guys out there. Um, Kluber did a good job. You know, he's we almost knocked him out when Walk smoked that ball down the line for the double play, but then he settled in and, and was able to give him some innings. But um, yeah, that was. That was a good job by a lot of people in there tonight. What would you see from Severino tonight? Um, I don't know. He just he, he, His slider seemed a little flat to me, even his fastball. Um, even some of the harder fastballs, they, they had some really good swings on it. You know, you, you credit them um, with, with really squaring them up more so than we've seen at any time this year. Um, but I, I just thought it was a little flat overall. Some of his balls seemed to even be cutting a little bit. Um, just, just not overall sharp for him, and uh, one of those rare outings for him. Aaron, given the numbers that both pitchers brought into the game, how surprising was to see it play out that way? Yeah, I don't think that's how everyone had it unfolding. Um, that's baseball for you, and you know that's why you go out there and play it. And um, <clears throat> you know sometimes it's. Uh, you know, when you think it's going to be so difficult for both sides to to mount anything, both sides were able to really, um, really get contributions up and down the lineup, and um, just that was that was a good one to walk in here on. Aaron, uh, the way the game is today with a lot of players and kind of big swing or whatever, having a guy like Hicks who can do so many multiple things, what what does that do for your lineup, and where would you be without him? Yeah. You know, Aaron does so many things as far as his ability to get on base, the speed element, the power he brings from both sides of the plate, and as a switch hitter, just the flexibility he gives where he can hit anywhere in the order. You know, he's hit anywhere from, you know, leads off against lefties a lot of times. You know, he's, I've hit him third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I feel like. Um, you know, he, you can kind of build your lineup a little bit around him because of the switch hitting. Uh, piece that he brings but he he's played really really well for us and and you know even these last few days he hasn't gotten a lot of hits but I feel like the at bat quality's been there um, you know he's he's hit into some tough outs and then a huge double and a huge stolen base there with a lefty at the plate you know to to get the third there with less than two outs so um, he's just a really good player and, and I'm glad that people are you know a little bit more starting to see that. You kind of talked about this yesterday, but I think you're 17 and 6 against teams that are currently in the AL playoffs. What is it about this team that you know you're able to step up against Kluber and you know the best? I don't know. I, you know, uh, that's not a ton of games. Look, I think the the guys in our room, um, there's no question like the competition, and you know there's an element of they rise rise up a little bit when when they're going up against the best. So I love the fact that we've performed well, but it's also, you know, some of those games we've we've just been rolling really well. And, um, you know, I, I like to, I, I want us to have the same approach all the time. And, and I feel like we're pretty good at that, but I don't think there's any question that those guys in there, the hair on their neck stands up a little bit when they're up against the best. Substitutions, just getting guys off their feet. Um, only wait. Yeah. The one substitution. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a defensive move there. Once we have the lead late, there, just like his range and what he brings out there. Chapman yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One of those other substitutions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but then he, you know, his last pitch of the game uh, looked like it was 99. Um, 
I, I don't know what it was reading on TV and how that matches up with what's on the board, but yeah, velocity was definitely a little down. Um, but more than that, just not as not as crisp. You know, sometimes the velocity can fool you a little bit. Um, you know, just they had a lot of good swings on on fastballs, but but also some some sliders as well. I know it could be a lot of things, but is it this time of year, Aaron? I mean, he threw a lot of innings last year, and I know there's a lot of talk about no. managing that. Do you think we're seeing some of that now? I don't know. I, you know, I think I think every pitcher is going to go through. You know. You know, an outing here and there where you don't have your best stuff, and I'd like to just chalk it up to that and think that it's that and one of those. Um, but you know, it's also why we do our best at times to, you know, make sure we give a guy a, an extra day's rest if it's in there, or, or occasionally try and build build something in there where it's around an off day where we can bounce a guy back. We do, you know, value keeping guys as fresh as we can. So it is something that we're mindful of.